Hi, I'm Jared Wojtovich, an automation engineer here with Minuteman Empire Automation Systems. Today, we're going to be reviewing a robot to Azure Cube calibration using the iPlus controller. So some prerequisites for this are the camera to cube calibration. We have a video on our channel that already describes how to do that process. If you don't know how to do it, go be sure to check out that video. We also have a predetermined part that we have created a recipe for. We also have a video on that showing those steps on how to create a recipe. So be sure to check that out if you haven't already. So the part that we have mimics the geometry in our shunk gripper that we have here. So on our I plus software, we're going to go to the configuration tab and we are going to click on robot. Again, the nice thing about Azrael is they give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to be successful in whatever step you're trying to achieve. So we're going to open up the hand-eye calibration wizard. We are going to select the robot Azrael calibration. You can name this whatever you would like. However, for the purpose of this video, this is what we named the recipe. So you can see a little preview of the recipe and the part that the system is going to try to find during this calibration process. So again, Azure gives you great documentation on how to work step by step through each of these processes. So we are going to prepare a gripper. We're going to place our part into the gripper itself. Now I do have to preface that I did come in and teach the four points on my cube and save those as values on my pendant. So I can actually take the robot and jog them to each of the corners throughout this process. So what I'm going to now do is move the robot from my perspective to the top right corner of the cube. So I'm going to use my pendant here and use the go to function and jog the robot slightly over into position and move it down. So the next thing it wants me to do is grab the robot's coordinates. Now it's important to make sure that you have the correct tool set and that you are in your robot's base coordinate system when you put this data into your system. So the value that the TCP is at in the top right corner of the cube here is 603.53 and 383.88. The system now wants me to release the part from the gripper. I'm then going to move the robot out of the way so that the robot does not impede the camera and being able to find the part on the plate itself. The system is then going to take an image and we were able to locate the coordinates from the vision coordinate system of the center point of this part. Now what the system is going to ask me to do is go into the three remaining corners and repeat this process. So for the purposes of this video, we're going to speed this up and I will check back in with you guys when I'm done training the three other corners. Alrighty, so I've gone through and I've done the calibration for the four corners of my cube. I get a calibration accuracy of 0.22 millimeters. Now, from this perspective, whenever the vision system is running a recipe and it sees a part, it's going to transform the vision coordinate system into the robot space coordinate system and send that value over. So thank you for watching today's video on how to calibrate a robot to an ASI cube using the iPlus controller. Be sure to click the link in the description down below as well as subscribe for more as related content as well as other technologies that Minuteman Empire Automation Systems supports. Thank you.